Today I want to work on my website and I want to fix something that's been bothering me about it for a while now. You see, when I first built my website, I built it in pieces. I first started working on the work journal and then I built a blog and then eventually I joined those together and then I added a home page. And since then they've all been a little disjointed. So what I want to do today is fix some of that up a little bit. I'll show you what I mean here. If you go to my website, you'll notice there's this homepage that I just finished building and there's a work journal link and then there's a blog link and you'll notice both of these when I click on them it just takes me completely away from the website and they don't feel like they're a part of the same thing. Now the main reason for that is there's no consistent navigation. If I go back you have the work journal and the blog across the top but whenever you drill into these you lose that. So today I want to add some persistent nav links that stay across the top whenever you move into work journal or you move into blog. So this index file is the starting point of my website. You see up here that I have the header that aligns up with this up here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to its own component. I know that I'm going to need this in the other apps, so I might as well move this to its own component right now, make things easier down the line. So what I went ahead and did is I extracted the header that I had here and I just moved it over to its own components file. Inside of that header, I was using this nav link that I created to hold the links across the top. I did this just to keep the styles consistent so I wouldn't have to repeat myself. So now that I have my header up here, we can see that this is functioning the same way it was before. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the work journal file and then the blog and then add this header in and then see what happens. Okay, so, so far all I did is I imported header into the work journals index file. And what you can see right now is that it's rendering the header. And this is a new page refresh, so this is likely re-rendering this header over again. And what you see that's happening here is that the header on the home page and on the work journal are different. That's because these are completely different pages. So now we're going to add some styling to make these match across pages. If we go ahead and inspect what's happening on the home page, we can see that this is the header. There's no spacing really applied to it. And if we go to the parent element, we can see that the padding's applied to the parent element on that page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy the same padding that I have on that page, and I'm gonna wrap the content on the work journal in a container the same way. Okay, so I've copied the padding and now you can see on my work journal and on the home page, I can move across the pages and the styling looks exactly the same. I'm gonna go ahead and re-implement this on the blog side and then we'll see where things go from there. Okay, so now I have the header on the work journal and the blog. You can see the blog's a little light at the moment. And so that's working good. Now the next thing I wanna do is, I want the links up top to show that they're active. So for example, when you click on blog, I want the styling to, I want the styling to somewhat change so that you can see that. And same goes for work journal. Now, uh, I'm gonna have to do a bit of Googling to figure out how to do that in Next.js, and I'll give you an update when I figure that out.
Okay, so I remember coming across an active class link before when I was using Next.js at one point and I never ended up using it because I didn't need it at the time, but this seems to be the sort of logic I want. It's not something that comes built in, but it's pretty easy to add to your own project. So instead of creating a new component out of this, I'm just gonna copy this and add it to my header component and just use it in the same file. So inside of my header component, I was already using this nav link component. Inside of that, I was using Next.js's link component. So this should be a straight up replace with that link component. So I'm going to replace that. And it seems the way you use this active link is you pass it an active class name and then that styles your component according to how you want it to look when that h tag or sorry when that anchor tag is active so right now let's wire that up and see how that looks Okay, so I got the active class names working. Uh, originally, I wanted this to be lighter for dark mode if it was active, but it seems like the Tailwind classes I'm using aren't overriding the same way I want them to, but that's a different issue. So right now we can see that when this link is active, we're applying some additional styles. And now if I switch to blog, you can see that that one gets the new styling. So now the last thing I wanna do is I wanna add a link on the left-hand side that takes me back to the home page whenever you're on any of the other pages. So let's go ahead and figure out how to do that next. So if I head into my header file, we can see that this is where I have my main header component and inside I'm rendering my nav links. So what I wanna do here is add a new link And this one's gonna take me to the index page. And right now I'll just call that home. So now I get my third link here. I can click on it and it takes me home. Now I only want this to show up when I'm not on the home page because I feel like it looks a little weird on this page. So I'm gonna be able to use this same use router and inside of that, there's a property I'm gonna want. And the property I want is called path name. So I'm gonna extract path name from use router. And then I'll be able to set up a conditional here to check if I'm on the home page. And if I'm on the home page, don't show it. If I'm not, then go ahead and show it. So all I had to do is add this conditional here. I check if path name equals the index route. And now when I switch, we can see the home shows up. And if I go back home, it disappears. So that's all I'm gonna do for now. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it works at the moment. There's probably a few extra styling things I need to do here and there to clean it up. Um, but uh, I think this is looking good. Now, the website is still super minimal and really early on, so I'm gonna keep adding features and probably create videos as I add more changes. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.